In the Milky Way, there are possibly thousands of planets that resemble our Earth and may even be inhabited or could one day become a new home for humans. Life on this Earth will very likely become increasingly difficult. We stand before ages, which will be coined by the climatic change, weather disasters, overpopulation, epidemics, and the completely normal change processes of the Earth. The fact is that our planet will be far too hot to continue to harbor organic life in several 100,000 years at the latest. Even if journeys to other planets are at present still unthinkable, scientists hold lookout for a new Earth. NASA found it in the TOI-700 system. There, a planet exists which is considered as a new super-Earth. We dive today into the possible habitability of the distant planet TOI-700D. TOI-700D, the most Earth-like of all exoplanets. Discovered in 2020, exoplanet TOI-700D was discovered by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS for short. Since then, the planet has come into focus in the search for extraterrestrial life. That's because the planet is pretty much safely in the habitable zone of its star, potentially hosting liquid water. The essential conditions for the emergence of life as we know it are thus in place. Let's look at what other specific properties make the exoplanet TOI-700D a potentially life-friendly place. At 101.4 light-years, the planet orbits an M-class star. With about 0.412 solar masses and 0.415 solar radii, the star is much smaller than our Sun. However, TOI-700D is closer to its star than we are. The orbital period around its star takes only about 37.4 days. Thus, on TOI-700D, a year lasts only a little bit longer, like with us, a month. But this does not have to stand in the way of habitability and the emergence of life. It's sure that the clocks in a world like this go somewhat differently. There would be surely other cycles of seasons and vegetation there, if there are plants and life on this planet at all. Let us come to the size of the planet. With around 1.7 Earth masses, this exoworld is somewhat larger and heavier than Earth. Previous measurements showed that the rock composition may be similar to our home. The temperature and the exact composition of the atmosphere are not yet known. However, since TOI-700D is most likely in the habitable zone of its star, this means that temperatures on its surface could be mild enough to allow liquid water. Water has now also been found in our own solar system on all the rocky planets within it. Mostly, it's present as frozen water ice at the poles. Even Mercury, the planet closest to the Sun, has certain amounts of water. But on Mercury, it's much too hot for the development of life. The atmosphere of Venus is too toxic, and on Mars, the water is only present in bound forms. Only our Earth has exactly the conditions it needs to produce life forms like us. We now know what an incredibly fortunate confluence of many circumstances made the emergence of life possible. Whether this is also true for TOI-700D, we can only speculate so far. However, the many water discoveries in our own star system give us hope that water is also present on many other planets. To really say with certainty that TOI-700D is a super-Earth, we need to know more about the exact composition of the planet's atmosphere or the strength of the planet's magnetic field. For this, we urgently need further observations and investigations. The new technical possibilities offer exactly these prospects. New Worlds, the TESS mission. TOI-700D was discovered with TESS. NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite was launched into space on April 18, 2018 on a Falcon 9 rocket by Elon Musk's space company, SpaceX. Initially, TESS's primary mission was designed 
to last only two full years. From 2018 to 2020, TESS was to detect exoplanets. Because the successes have been overwhelming and the satellite remains in good shape today, the mission has already been extended twice. TESS's sensors study the sky near the ecliptic, making it very easy to detect transits of exoplanets in front of their stars. In the course of its mission, TESS has thus already detected 50 small and Earth-like exoplanets. The data from TESS are used by scientists around the world to study the properties of exoplanets and their atmospheres, and to learn more about how planets form and evolve outside our solar system. The observation satellite orbits Earth in a highly elliptical orbit, which NASA calls a P2 orbit. TESS's orbit is designed so that the satellite passes Earth every 27.4 days and studies a new part of the sky during each orbit of the planet. In doing so, TESS is in an Earth-bound orbit that is between 108,000 kilometers and 373,000 kilometers from Earth. By comparison, communication satellites and weather satellites operate at a distance of only about 36,000 kilometers from the Earth's surface. TESS's elliptical orbit allows the satellite to scan nearly the entire sky without being affected by the brightness of the sun. This allows TESS to search for planets orbiting stars that are very faint as seen from Earth. In fact, the transit method can only detect exoplanets when they become visible as small obscurations in front of their stars. The brighter the star and the larger the planet, the easier it is for us to see it on Earth. Small planets with less luminous stars often could not be seen as well with predecessor telescopes. All in all, the TESS mission was and is a huge success. And not only because of the promising TOI 700D world. By the way, TESS discovered four more exoplanets in the TOI 700 system. TOI 700B and TOI 700C are not in the habitable zone. TOI 700E is about 10% smaller than its neighbor D and is probably also a rocky planet. And this world too could have liquid water and a mild climate. Will JWST bring the answer? The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in 2022, will set new standards in the study of exoplanets. Namely, the telescope is capable of detecting water in the atmospheres of exoplanets. One of the main goals of the mission is to study the atmospheres of exoplanets and look for biomarkers that could indicate the presence of life. And the most important biomarker is water. Furthermore, James Webb can also detect circumstances that speak against the presence of water or life. Toxic gases in the atmosphere or other chemical compositions can provide clues. The Space Telescope studies the atmospheres of exoplanets by analyzing the light reflected from the planets. If the planets pass in front of their stars as small dots, they become visible on the one hand and scatter light on the other, which results in a typical light aura for each planet. The light of the star in the background shines through the atmosphere and the closer environment of the exoplanet, and thereby changes of the light rays occur. Water molecules generate very specific wavelengths, just as any other gas or element also generates a specific wave spectrum. By analyzing the total spectrum of light passing through the atmosphere, the James Webb Telescope can accurately determine the composition of the exoplanet's atmosphere. However, it is currently difficult to predict when the telescope will observe TOI 700D. Since the telescope is an international project, and hundreds of scientists worldwide are entitled to a share of the observing time, it may take some time before it is the turn of the recently discovered TOI 700D. Perhaps another telescope will be faster, because the extremely large telescope of the European Southern Observatory is expected to start in the Chilean Atacama Desert next year. And this super telescope will also be able to illuminate the atmospheres of exoplanets. If it then turns out, yes, TOI 700D is a water-rich exoworld with an Earth-like atmosphere, the sensation would of course be perfect. But what practical steps could we Earthlings then take to reach this world? Contact with exoplanets. 
If we had confidence that TOI 700D was a potentially habitable or even inhabited world, scientists would try to make contact. At a distance of just over 100 light years, the TOI 700 system is more or less in our cosmic neighborhood, but it is still incredibly far away when measured against our technical capabilities. A radio signal can never travel faster than light, and thus, it would be more than 100 years away. If it would be received by entities living there, and if they would actually answer, this signal would probably also travel more than 100 years again, unless an even more advanced civilization living there would have other possibilities to contact us in a faster way. To fly with spaceships to TOI 700 would be of course a dream, if the planet should really be a second Earth or is inhabited by nice aliens. But when this will be possible is very difficult to estimate at the moment. Even the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, which is only about four light years away from us, is not reachable with the current technologies and propulsion systems. Worldwide, technicians are working on the advancement of the warp drive. In theory, this already exists in the form of the Alcubierre drive. However, this is currently still the problem of energy. All functional warp systems to date are hypothetical propulsion systems that would require so much energy that the demand would approach infinity. In 2022, a team of US researchers announced that they had succeeded for the first time in creating a tiny warp bubble in their laboratory. Now, all we have to do is turn fractions of micrometers into measures of length, and we're ready to go. All kidding aside, you and I may live to see the first humans land on Mars and the first lunar station populated by humans. But the first warp spaceships probably won't be whizzing through space for another few hundred years. We will probably have to make ourselves comfortable on Earth for that long. Although horror stories about the climate, the environment, and the scarcity of resources are pouring in, this planet also offers all kinds of advantages to enjoy. Or what do you think? Do you think that mankind has to hurry to find another cosmic home? Or do you think that the fear for the Earth and for our continued existence is unfounded? We welcome your opinions and ideas on the topic in the comments. See you next time at Simply Space.